today we are going to discuss insert menu <coughs> in Microsoft PowerPoint as you can see the uh, slides in front of you these slides contain the figures diagrams and uh, I can type of data this data uh, is inserted into the slides with the help of insert menu okay for example this is an icon you can see it insert menu contains uh, different types of commands let's see them one by one the first one is uh, insert slide new slide as we have discussed this topic uh, in the home menu also uh, you can choose any style of slide for example I'm going to choose uh, this blank slide okay here I can choose uh, I can write the text also if you don't want text you can delete the text box from here it will become blank now the next option is adding a table you know about it very well from Microsoft Word choose the number of columns for example I'm going to choose the number of columns for I'm going to make uh, five rows here you can move the table from one place to another table uh, place you can also resize the table as much as you want okay as this is a table added here over here you can see now if you want to write some text just click inside the table and type text press tab button and type next text and follow the same steps for the whole table if you want to delete the table just click on the border of the table and press delete button we have some other methods of adding table also that is insert table insert table we can choose the number of columns by ourselves for example I type the number of columns for number of rows is equal to 10 and new table is added over here we can also apply the styles on our tables like uh, I choose this style you can also add bended row bended column total row first row first column over here also and you can also format the table by applying the highlight color shading color by applying the fonts uh, border styles as we have discussed in word if you don't want this table just click and delete next option is draw table pretty much easier you can just click and drag the line as much as you want and for rows and columns you can again choose the options draw table and you can draw rows from left to right and uh, draw columns from top to bottom or bottom to top draw bar will allow you to draw the table next option is the uh, excel spreadsheet it can import the data from Microsoft Excel let's see as you have inserted Excel sheet you can copy the Excel data over this sheet also okay if you want to delete it just click on the border of the sheet and press delete button next option is uh, picture picture option is used to add the pictures on your slides for this purpose you will go to this device this device will choose the picture from for example I am going to add a picture from e drive and wallpapers folder it contains multiple wallpapers I need a picture of book I selected a picture of book over here if you want to reduce the size you can also uh, click and drag inward click and drag outward to resize your image you can move the picture you can rotate the picture as much as you want if you want to apply styles 
just go to picture format and apply the styles over your picture if you don't want this picture just click the picture and press delete button next option is screenshot screenshot will take the picture of your screen let's see screen clipping and uh, you can take any portion of the picture uh, of your screen and take a screenshot of it next option is photo album uh, this option is not found in word and excel it is only in microsoft powerpoint how to make a photo album just click new photo album and uh, file disk in the file disk button you when you will click you can choose the number of pictures you want to show in your album for example i am going to select some pictures by pressing shift button and clicking on the pictures so here we have choosed some images which i want to show in my album next option is click create and this is the photo album now if you want to uh, see the slideshow just click slideshow button it will display every picture one by one this is the picture album most easiest thing you can save it by file save browse and save it to your documents by any name as i have saved it by the name of album next option is shapes like uh, you can see this is a rectangular shape added over my slide you can choose any of the shapes from here like uh, that was uh, the previous shape was a rounded rectangle and it was colored as black gray you can choose any type of color you can also apply the effects for example i want to apply the effect of a glow uh soft edges bevel reflection shadow uh i think this will be the better one now the shadow effect is applied over the shape you can also draw shape over the shape like you can see that there is also a circle on the shape okay how to draw it just go to your shape and choose the shape button again and click the circle command and draw a circle you can move it to any place where you want it you can change the color of the shape also uh if you want to apply some other formatting you can also choose for example i applied the white border over the circle here that's how you can apply the shapes shape contains multiple types of shapes okay like in this presentation there is a shape there is some text also text can be written by the use of text box okay like i want to apply uh for example i want to add a picture over here i want to add a icon over here you can add icons and pictures from this icon button okay these are some icons these are some images stickers now i need uh, an icon for example i will choose the icon of a boy uh it is not showing me the proper icon i need student it is showing me three different icons for a student for example i need this one this icon is displayed over here now this is black and black cannot be seen over the black easily so i will change the shape format of this shape and i will convert it to the white one okay now we can see the black drawing over the black to write some text what do we need we need a text box 
this is text box click and drag it out and write the text whatever you want as I typed DIT part 1 I can choose the font style as, uh, I want I can increase the size of the font also by grow font we can also change the color of the font as I as we want okay this was shape and icon option now here you can see the icon of a crown icon of a girl you can also see the circle and ellipse these are shapes and these are icons and icons can also be downloaded from the Google okay when you go to the Google you can choose the icon of your choice how can you download the icons from the Google just uh, for example I need a girl student and uh, PNG PNG mean portable network graphic it will show me uh, portable network graphics of girls I need an icon then I will type the word icon now you can see the icons over here you can save any of these icons and apply it to your slide okay like I have applied some icons over here crown is also icon okay next option is 3d models uh, these are also uh, illustrations or diagrams or sketches these are available online only okay for example I need uh, a model of uh, some toy okay so here you can see the toy models for example I want to display uh, this thing I have selected a microscope over here it will be downloaded on your slide but it will take a little time because it is a heavier graphic it is a 3d graphic depends upon speed of your internet now you have added a microscope you can move it to any direction because it is 3d now I will select it uh, this way I think this way it looks completely better you can change the size of this graphic also and if you want to delete that graphic just click on the border of the graphic and press the delete button from your keyboard if you want to keep it just place it on your slide smart art for the smart art I need uh, another graphic uh, slide so I have added it smart art these are the smart arts for example uh, we have chosen this box model we say here uh, we have top authority MD then general secretary then manager then our staff this is how I have drawn some hierarchical diagram okay next is chart chart will add an excel chart on your sheet to add a chart just click chart button and uh, choose the chart of your own style and then click ok now you only need to provide some data for example I want to provide data of uh, Ali Bilal Dawood and Salman and I want to show their marks for example we say Ali got 700 marks this person took 650 marks this person took 600 marks and this person took 550 marks now Excel will display separate color for each of the students okay you can also change the design of the chart by your own by clicking chart design button okay 
If you don't need chart, just click on the border of the chart and press delete button. Okay, next to that, we can see add-ins. Add-ins can be uh, added, uh, used to add the additional features to Microsoft PowerPoint. Link, uh, link will link your slideshow to the Zoom. Zoom is a program to take online classes. Okay, we don't have got the Zoom yet, so I'm not going to link it to Zoom. Next option is comment. Comment is used to add a comment on your slide. This is a comment. If you don't need the comment, just right click the comment and press delete comment. Comment will be deleted. Text box, as we have discussed earlier, it is used to add some new text to our slide. For example, I need to add a heading to my slide. I will click and drag the text box over heading portion and type the heading i need to add some other text i will click and drag the text box as much as i want okay this will enable me to add new text to my file okay next to that you can see header and the top and bottom note of the slide for header and footer just go for header and footer for example, I want to apply date and time. I want to apply the slide number in the footer. I want to write my name also and apply to all. When you will click apply to all, you can see the header and footer at the bottom of the slide. At, at the bottom of each slide, you can see my name, date and the slide number. Okay. This is how you can add the headers and footers. Next option is Word Art. We have uh, discussed it earlier in Word and Excel also. Now I am going to apply it for Microsoft PowerPoint. Let's use the style of Word Art and type some text. This is a beautiful Word Art over here. Now I want to change the style of Word Art. I will go to Home Menu and choose any of the font styles. We can choose uh, this style for example, I can choose the color for it. We can increase and decrease the size of text also. If you go to shape format, you can also apply the quick styles. These are very beautiful styles. For example, I need to transform it to some other format. I want it this way. If you don't need the word art, just click on the border of the word art and press delete from your keyboard. Next option is date and time. Date and time is used to add some date and time over your slides. Just choose a text box and click date and time. Choose date time, click OK. Date and time will be placed on your slide. Next option is slide number. It will add a number on your slide. Next option is object will add a picture, will add a file as a object. Okay. So create from file, click browse and choose any of the files as a object. It will place the file as an object over here. Okay. Okay. Next option is the symbols and equations. These also need some text box. So I have added the text box already. I am going to add an equation. Just click an equation. Okay, if you want any symbol to be added on your slide, just go to insert and click the symbols and choose the symbol from here. You have uh, multiple categories. We use the uh, winged in category often or webbed in category. It contains multiple symbols. You can add any of them just by click the symbol and click insert. You can also select the symbols. You can go to home menu, change the font size, change the color and change the styles of the images also. Okay. Next option is how to add some video or some audio to your slide. For that purpose, you need a media. Media can add video and audio to add a video or audio you will go to the option for example i need a video over here so i will choose the this device 
or online video now I, we have got the videos here you can see my lectures I will choose any of them and click insert a video will be added on my slide now you can see there is a video on my slide but it will not play here it will be played in the slideshow now it is playing you can move it forward and backward also you can play and stop it also you can't listen the voice because uh, I have switched off the speakers okay in the similar way if you want to add an audio file just go to insert and choose media and add audio by uh, you can choose any recorded audio or you can record a new audio also to record a new audio just click record audio and uh, start recording uh, now it will record your audio until you speak your audio will be recorded and when you click ok or stop your audio will be placed on your slide okay there is another option also that is screen recording like I am recording the screen I am recording the screen and making a lecture for you I am going to uh, this time I am using the software known as ice cream screen recorder you can also use Microsoft PowerPoint to record your screen for that purpose you will go to insert media and screen recording now you will uh, select the area of your screen to record for example I need the whole screen to be recorded now just click record PowerPoint will start the recording of your screen and it will record like my software is recording my screen until you stop the recording how you will stop the recording you will click the button stop 